Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Lee and you're watching Infinite Music Reactions. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing live stream reactions here on Twitch. This one has been put forward by Basil, Basil Keane. I <laughs> got his name wrong then. Ow. Um, and it's Tim Minchin again, the, com the Australian comedian, and the song is called. Oh, well, I'm saying it's a song. He's a comedian. It could be anything. Um, but it's the, the name of the video is Rock and Roll Nerd. Check this guy out once. Thought he was very, very funny. Looking forward to it again, as you guys who probably know him already know that he's very, very funny. Anyway, before we jump into this reaction, if you do actually like videos, then please consider to like and subscribe. And the link to this video will be down in the description for anyone who wants to check it out by themselves. Okay, let's get into this. To Minchin Rock and Roll Nerd. Okay, let's go. He doesn't have a problem with drugs. He just doesn't get them. I get what he's doing. Rock and roll nerd. It's going to be the complete opposite to what uh, a rock and roll star is perceived as. Doesn't get drugs. Doesn't get them. Doesn't do him. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. He just doesn't get them. <laughs> he's fine that his mates have tattoos, but he thinks they'll regret them. <laughs> likes going to pubs but he hates it when the music's too loud oh no that's that's sacrilege that going to the pub and not having the music on loud that's sacrilege you've got to have it on loud when you're out he's going to pubs but he hates it when the music's too loud he tends not to go to rock concerts because he can't stand the crowd <laughs> but all he's ever wanted to be is a rock star on rage or mtv but okay. he knows that it's not Fucking likely, he just <laughs> turned 30. He knows that he will always be. I love the way Australians say fucking, they go fucking, 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 like something like that. It's, I'll probably get, I'll probably get limited uh, YouTube video for that, you know, ad revenue. But I don't care because it's funny. He knows that he will always be a rock and roll nerd. We'll keep writing songs the world will never hear And though they won't be heard, he'll just keep writing Oh yeah, but you see the problem is He always dreamt of being a star okay. He learned piano instead of guitar <laughs> Which in the 90s didn't get you very far <laughs> So while the other kids were learning Stairway he was the piano to their forte, <laughs> but he was convinced one day he'd rock their fucking asses. <laughs> Be an icon for the disenfranchised masses. Grow his hair long and rebel against the state. But just for now that it'd have to wait, cause he's running late for his morning classes. And he will always be. Is he? talking about himself let me know in the comments is he talking about himself here because a lot of what he's saying is marrying up <laughs> late for his morning classes and he will always be a rock and roll nerd he'll keep playing gigs that no one knows about and though it sounds absurd he'll just keep playing oh yeah but you see, the problem is there's not much depth in what he's singing. <laughs> he's got to be talking about himself. Yeah, Basil, Basil says he's talking about himself, so kudos to me, I got one. <laughs> but yeah, it, it feels like a life betrayal the way he's doing it. He's a victim of his upper middle class upbringing. <laughs> so he can't write about the hood or bling bling. <laughs> So he sits and imagines his girlfriend is dead <laughs> To try and evoke some angst in his middle class head <laughs> But the bitch is always fine at half past nine when they go to bed <laughs> And he's not spent a single night in prison He has no issues with nutrition He has 
no drinking problem and no drug addiction. <laughs> Unless you count the drugs they put in chicken. <laughs> and marijuana always tends to make him cough. He doesn't look good with his T-shirt off, and when he tries to act tough, you can tell he's tricking. Okay. Wow, okay. And having fun, he goes home and showers and gets a good eight hours. He gets thrills from his morning run. And while his mates <laughs> will go on dates, I take in spree and drinking cans of Jim Bean. He stays home and cooks, calls up with the book with the girl he's had since he was 17. Because he's never really been part of the scene. Give him guns and roses, he'll take Queen. He's more into Beatles than the Stones. He's more of Stevie Wonder than Ramones. So he's obviously, yeah, he's everything he's doing is a complete anti-rock star, isn't it? It's very, very quirky and very funny. I loved it when the band kicked in. It went very, very jazzy. To Beatles, then the Stones. He's more of Stevie Wonder than Ramones. And he's never around a panel van. He never shot a Pantera van. He doesn't know the difference between metal and thrash. He couldn't tell you nothing about Axel and Slash. He likes Ben Falls and the Jackson 5. He knows all the words to stay in a he knows that his music lacks depth but it just can't be helped I wouldn't say his music lack, lack depth. I'd say he's, he's writing it for a comedy sketch. It's just comedy in, in musical form, isn't it? That his music lacks depth, but it just can't be helped. He has nothing interesting to say, so he writes about himself. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't want to seem self-obsessed. So he writes in third person. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Very good. In an attempt to see more rock and roll, but he suspects it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> You know, he's a very, very good pianist. When you listen to the music in the background of all the comedy and stuff, he's very, very good. He suspects it's not working. <laughs> and deep in his heart, he knows... That he'll never be Silver Chair or Eskimo Joe. <laughs> and even if he was quite pretty with small pants like Kylie, he knows what? that he will always be a rock and roll nerd. He'll keep writing songs the world don't care about. The stupid sounds of Sir, he'll just keep writing. That sounds like another song. Nice. Can't every all every all everyone else who played guitar was playing stairway while he was on the piano and then he just threw in stairway as the people who can remember what he said I was listening will get that reference which was cool because that was the intro to stairway to heaven. Very good. That was really good. I mean, lyrically, it was very clever. And he said there's no depth to his music, obviously, talking about himself. But there is, because he described everything that's the the anti-verse to, the, to rock and roll, which is funny. Doesn't know who Axel and Slash are, you know what I mean? And, and that's funny, because everyone knows who Axel and Slash are and stuff like that. He's got a very, very quirky mind, and um, yeah, 
the fact that he was he was um, describing himself probably made that song easier to write because he, he feels like a rock and roll nerd himself because he should have learned the guitar and he learned the piano. I like both instruments. I can play that one. I can't play the piano. I can go like that with it, like I can do on a keyboard. <laughs> but I can't. I can't. Oh, 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 I can't do all that. Anyway, uh, great request, Basley. If you like the videos, then please hit like and subscribe. And I shall see you on the next one.